Hi everyone, happy Friday. This is Christy Rich. I decided to pop on live and do a video for you. So today's topic is, do you let your heart lead you or do you let your mind lead you? Maybe this is something you've never really thought about. In our culture, it's always about following the mind and doing what's logical. It's about being productive, having lots of goals, to-do lists, lots of evidence that you are working hard, okay? But the heart is very different. It's a very different vibration. It's about doing what you love. It's about doing or following your passions, okay? So take a moment and just reflect, okay? You may wish to take out a piece of paper, do some journaling, but become mindful. I've been talking a lot about mindfulness lately. It's very important for us to be mindful. Right now, we have the eclipse energy, and everyone's a little scattered. Everyone's a little ungrounded, okay? So it's very important that we take our control back, that we get back into peace and get back into our heart, okay? So you can do this very easily by just closing your eyes and feeling in. Close your eyes and feel in. Have you been listening to your heart? What does your heart want and need from you? Your heart is wise. Is your heart telling you to slow down? Is your heart telling you that you need more fun and joy? Is your heart telling you to just be? Okay? The heart is more of a feminine energy about receiving, about being, and the masculine energy is always about doing and taking action. Okay? So I want you to allow yourself to be led more by your heart and less by your mind. Because the more you concentrate on the mind and doing what's right, quote unquote, the more you will go off track. The more you will be out of alignment, stressed out, <laughs> doing way too much, okay? Becoming a workaholic, go, 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 always on, and then you can't relax. And then you're not enjoying your life. And then when that happens, that can create stress, chronic conditions, chronic illness, depression, anxiety, etc. We are on this cycle roller coaster or this cycle of going round and round until we get sicker and sicker because we don't stop. Okay? So I want you to spend more time doing what brings you joy. Do what makes you happy. Okay? This may be taking a few minutes out of your day to write in your journal. This can be calling a friend. This can be going for a walk, okay? This can be looking at the sunset, okay? We may not have time to have all day long be what we wish to do and to be joyful, okay? We do have some responsibilities. We do have family to take care of. We do need to make money, but we need to prioritize our heart more. You will find when you're really stressed out, when you're really jittery and just getting a migraine and not feeling yourself, that you have been thinking too much. You have been relying on the mind and trying to be perfect instead of following your heart. So tonight I want you to encourage you to be mindful and to follow your heart more and that will lead you to joy and in the right direction. So if you would like more mindfulness tips, if you would like more health and wellness tips, I want to invite you to a free challenge. So I have a free challenge. It's next week. It starts next Wednesday. That is the 11th through the 13th. Yes, it's absolutely free. And I will be sharing my favorite tips for wellness. Okay, I will be sharing what I personally do to maintain my health and also to sustain myself so that I do not get sick okay, to sustain my health and to sustain my joy, to sustain my happiness. All right, it's a very easy challenge. I have created three videos for you. So when you sign up, you will get a video each morning. You will have all day long to watch the video and then to post the homework assignment. So this is an incentive for you to prioritize your health and wellness. So there will be a homework assignment every day it's not gonna be too long, <laughs> don't worry. Okay, I'm taking into account that we are all really busy. And when you're stressed out and overwhelmed, you don't want 
too much more to do, right? So short videos, short homework assignment, and if you post it in the private Facebook group daily, you have a chance to win a prize. Okay, so I'm super excited to share my knowledge with you, to have uh, give out some prizes, okay? So we have fun while we learn about how to become healthier and happier. So I encourage you to go ahead and click on the link below. That will get you started so that you are on the list and then you will receive those emails into your inbox daily. Make sure you also join the private Facebook group. Okay, so first, Click on the first link to get started and then make sure you sign up for the private Facebook group and that is where you will post your homework, okay? And then that will make you eligible for a prize, okay? So you will get a chance to meet others in the group. There are some fabulous ladies in there already. It's already open and uh, I'm just super excited to get started with you next week. So I will be in the group. I will be answering questions in the group. So if you have any questions after you watch a video, you can ask it in the group. Okay, so super excited. Invite your friends, invite your family, invite anyone who is struggling right now, who feels overwhelmed, who feels anxious, depressed, or who has chronic health conditions and who's really been struggling to get well and who wishes to learn some nice, easy tips, natural ways to improve her, her wellness, okay? So definitely invite anyone who you think may be interested. And if you have any questions, you can also post that below. I'll be happy to answer your questions. But I just wanted to create this short video for you, again, to encourage you to go into your heart, okay? That's something I realized I need to do more of. I used to do more of that when I was in California, when I was a California girl, but uh, now I'm on the East Coast and I'm like, go, go mode. <laughs> so I had to take a moment today and just be more mindful and say, okay, Christy, your heart wants you to do more things that bring you joy. You need to listen to her. You need to listen to your heart. Okay, so please give this video a heart, a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, if you found some value, if you're looking forward to my challenge next week. Okay, again, that's the 11th through the 13th. And um, yeah, I wish you all a beautiful evening. So bye for now. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.